accurate position in our monitor. And then we have to determine which central to be used. And the way we uh, control our cursor, we're using Java class uh, uh, in the MATLAB. And this is our performance profiling. Uh, we're using 50 images uh, to measure the average runtime of a single image. So we can see uh, the, the average for, for running the total process of a single image is around uh, 0.28 seconds per frame. And for each module, the skin tone detection module will take average, average uh, 0.13 seconds per frame for a single image. And the maximum time for a single image for that module is around uh, 0.18 a minimum is around 0.12. And so we can also see the data for our block matching and central finding. So, uh, so what is the uh, real-time system? A real-time system uh, for our human visual system is, requires uh, 24 frames per second. And uh, most videos right now are uh, at least uh, 30 frames per second. And our, our camera, uh, is around uh, 15 frames per second. And so our system from the previous slides we know is uh, 0.3 uh, seconds per frame. So it is clearly not a real-time system. And here's a demo of our results. So we, we can see the cursor uh, So we could see the cursor moves uh, according to our to my right hand. And our conclusion: we uh, extracted webcam images provided. Uh, for uh, gestural uh, control, and we also implemented the prototype for our application, and we successfully uh, detected hand gestures and translated the trans centrals into cursor control. And for our future work, we want to implement with C and OpenCV, and because uh, we also want it to be a real-time system so that uh, it will be at least like 30 uh, frames per second. And there's another problem with our skin tone detection. It's not robust enough, so we need uh, a better uh, Algorithm so that we can detect under uh, all kinds of environment. And also we can only combine with our system with their search engine so we can do uh, more applications. This is all, and all. We have to implement a C, or we can use like compress everything into assembly code. But would it change in algorithm be much more effective? But it takes so much time to run those algorithms for the calculation because. First, I'll get the data, uh, like, a, like the training data of the mean and variance, and so we, uh, yeah, and we get the images of the of their Gaussian, and then we compare it. Okay, but I'm not I'm not clear what the training data is. The training. 
generating data is just images like this. Yeah. Yes. Without any hand labeling. This is, this oh, is skin, this is clothing. Uh, yeah, we, we need to like uh, dissect it uh, manually uh, with, with the program. Yeah, okay, you did that. Yeah. Now, uh, in your demo, you showed that as you move your hand, you move the cursor. Right. right. But that's just the beginning. What else do you need to do in the function of the concept of PVDC? I think the speed is a problem because, uh, and also the stink, uh, there's another major problem is that the stink uh, detection algorithm. Because uh, we have to find very a uh, specific angle and the light without reflections, otherwise we cannot uh, tell which uh, is actually our hands. So we need to develop a better uh, algorithm, and also the speed because it's too slow, and we might not catch up with the input data. Well, my question was that you know I see that you get up on that one, let's say fix it. You want to move the cursor, you need to do. Any other function than moving the cursor? Oh, moving the cursor? Oh, I see. Uh, we can build a classifier, like uh, determine what kind of gesture that is. So uh, if we can like, classify what kind of, what kind of uh, gesture that is, we, do we could do more functionalities. Okay, very good. Oh, yeah. well, Yeah, it would be better if we, we if we have two cameras, we also could uh, I think mean, do something more like depth and everything, but it will increase the complexity. So we, we just building up the protocol first. Okay, thanks again. Thank you.